we just finished hosting GDevelop's 3D Game Jam. <music> 3D is something that you could do in GDevelop for a while now, using extensions built by our wonderful community members. But now, 3D has been built directly into the engine. And to celebrate that, we hosted a 3D game jam. And because we expected 3D games to take more work than 2D games, we stretched the time out, so instead of 48 hours, this jam was going to be 9 days long. And since this was a new feature, that people were going to need to learn on the fly for the jam, I kind of expected the numbers to be a little lower, but you folks really loved it. 920 people joined the jam, and 120 games got submitted. And they were from all different genres. There were 3D platformers, flight simulators, horror games, ship battle or steering games, games with mazes, dungeon crawlers, games that played with different perspectives, and an Iron Lung style game that I thought was really cool. But this time around there were no judges, so the only opinion that matters was yours. The people in the jam who voted for the winners. So in this video, we're going to show off the top 10 community voted games that were created based off of the theme, Navigate. And the top 3 games in this list are going to win these prizes. Their games will be featured on GD.Games, they'll get a special role in the GDevelop Discord server, they'll each get a 3 month gold subscription, and then thanks to this jam's sponsor, Fanatical, each team will be getting a game voucher to spend on their site. So the developers who made good games then get to go off and buy other good games. But let's get started. Starting with the game in 10th place. Piratica, a narrative adventure by Milana Digital, where you experience an epic tale of treachery and piracy, forbidden love, a dead father, and a cursed legacy. Explore the seas in 3D in this open world narrative based adventure RPG. And in 9th is The Great Maze by Pixels, where you explore the Great Maze, talk to some interesting characters, watch some cutscenes, and try to find your way through to the other side. In 8th place is Herald in Heck by Nut. A game where you navigate your way through a 3D dungeon, find interesting characters, and maybe your way out. Hello, Harold. The bad news is you're dead. In seventh is 30 Minutes or Less by Megabloop in which you are a delivery driver trying to get your pizza to its destination as quickly as possible without wrecking the pizza. There are upgrades and obstacles and different routes to take while being heckled by the person who you're supposed to be delivering the pizza to. You're not lost, are you? How long have you had your license? Oh, this pizza's jacked up. In sixth, is Sea Rats, the unfortunate, dizzying, and untold adventure of Calico Jack, a game by Jara Henao Productions. The game is a 3D platformer with a host of sea-based enemies, shot mechanics, and more. God of the sea, why do you punish us like this? Foolish Calico Jack, hurry up and repair our boat before the sea devours us. And then in fifth place is Bunny Game, by Zbot, where Bunny Dude is kinda hungry. He goes on a mission to find the lost carrot cakes hidden by his great great grandpappy, Bunny Dude Senior. To find the lost carrot cakes, he needs to find hidden maps in each level, which will lead to the buried carrot cake treasure. 
Hopefully it hasn't gone stale. In fourth is Arctic Storm, a game made by Cold Winter Cabin, where you try to navigate through an Arctic research base during a blizzard. In hopes of reaching an escape vehicle, try to stay warm as you dart between fires and hope that you don't get lost in the storm. In third, and the first winner of prizes on this list is Night Shift by Iqmal Saeed, where you take on the role of a night shift worker in an unfamiliar location, and in true Slenderman style, you need to collect 10 strange objects while you're hunted by a ghost that's haunting the area. And as a personal side note, Thanks a lot to all of you who voted and made me play a horror game. I really should jump scare you as revenge. But I'm not going to. In second, Sunny's Delivery Service by Rami, Naemi, Cillian Clifford, and Annetta Walker, where you're controlling a drone delivering items around Sunnyvale. You get to meet some of Sunny's friends and experience a little community cameo. This game did some interesting things with 3D, my favorite of which was when you landed on water. And these developers get to walk away with the second place prize. And then in first place is Treasure Quest 3D Golden Voyage by RDV vs. The World and Top Hatted Time. This game features swashbuckling level based treasure hunting, where you search for and dig up treasure while fighting on land and sea to get there and out successfully. This game has a shop, multiple levels, different kinds of combat, surprises, and more. This game wins the first place prizes, so if you get the chance, check out this game. A quick thank you to the Jam sponsor, Fanatical. And of course, to the amazing community members making 3D extensions for the engine. The games in this jam weren't just made with the now built-in features of GDevelop, there were lots of games submitted using these extensions. This jam was another huge success, which makes me even more excited for the next jam where we might be showing off something that you made. <laughs>